Oh guys, Alex Faratov here, and today I'm very, very excited to have Darby Rollins. So Darby is an expert with AI, and specifically uh, Jarvis, um, which is the AI writing tool. Uh, if you're not using that in your marketing, if you're not using that in your business, then you're missing out because Darby today will show us specifically uh, tricks, hacks, uh, strategies, tactics, uh, how we can utilize this very, very powerful uh, you know, software and um, in your business to basically uh, get the copy, get the uh, text, get the, um, uh, you know, sales pages, like written faster, get ideas, get inspiration. And um, yeah, I think this will, mind, will be mind blowing for you guys. So I'm very, very excited to have Darby here. Well, thank you so much for having me here, Alex. And I, I certainly do hope that some minds are blown, but also in, in such a way that you see why this is such an important time to be jumping on this opportunity and integrating AI into your own business. As Alex, as you said, um, Jasper Expert, it used to be called Jarvis. Uh, now it's called Jasper. Um, and so I, I plenty, I still misuse it <laughs> quite often on, on which it is. I thought Jarvis was such a great name, but um, that's beside the pack now. What the, what matters to you right now? Oh, Jasper, for, for, sorry. Yeah. Like, it's no, what, what matters for, for everyone here watching this video right now is that you're probably in e-commerce in some way, shape or form, and you're online and you're selling products and you need words to sell products. And, you know, up until just a few years ago, you know, copywriting was my main business as well. I was an Amazon consultant. I was in e-commerce. I'd started selling on Amazon and 2017, 2018. And uh, I would built thousands of Amazon listings from either just like basic bullet points, um, had a, a small team that I was working with the full listings and design. And a bottleneck was always how do I write better copy? How do I write better, higher converting copy? And especially for things like e-commerce listings, when you have all the information, you just need to organize it. It can be a lot and it can be daunting. It can be very expensive if you're going to go hire, you know, other copywriters should do it. And then again, you end up running into potential roadblocks when you're outsourcing to agencies or freelancers. And that was and about two years ago today, end of December, 2020. Um, I was talking with my buddies, uh, Austin and, uh, who worked at a startup called Proof, and uh, and his uh, founder Dave. Um, they said, "Hey guys, we got this really cool AI like opportunity. GTP three from OpenAI is this like natural language processing platform that we're able to kind of like tap into. Uh, we got approved, and we want to start seeing how we can use it for things like Facebook ads and other use cases." I said, "Wow, like I need help writing Amazon listings with this. Let's go ahead and see what we can do." on the Amazon side of things. And so um, I was there actually Jasper's very first customer. Um, I have screenshots to prove it. It's on my Twitter. If you, if you want to go and check that out at Darby, Darby A. Rollins. Um, but, but from that point, two years ago till just about a month ago today, Jasper announced their series a of 150 million, $125 million raised at a $1.5 billion valuation. And if you've probably wow. seen, <laughs> it's incredible. And it, you've probably seen the massive like amount of conversation right now happening around AI content, art, writing, conversions. Can it, is it going to replace copywriters? Is AI coming for our jobs? How are we using it to like scale our businesses up? And in September, I hosted a Scale with AI Summit with about 18 different AI experts and how they use this tool. And the, 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 the reason I say this and preface before showing you the tool right now is because we're still on the very cutting edge of where this technology is going to be. And if you're not using AI integrated inside of your systems and your processes to scale your content, then you're simply going to be losing out. And if you're not using it in the next few years, especially, you're probably not going to be in business, at least not the same level that you want to be because your competition is going to be using this stuff. And it's not as complicated as it sounds. And I'm going to show you exactly how a few really specific e-commerce use cases that you can use Jasper to increase the conversions on your e-commerce funnels. Because we all know we need content problem, cost time, money, energy, and a lot of effort. Well, Jasper is going to help take a lot of those, um, those, you know, problems with creating content off the table. And, uh, and I think Alex, we, you sent me over uh, a few different examples of, you know, maybe some like yeah. websites and some, some funnels that we can work with. And m maybe pr like, I'd love to hear kind of from you is like, what are some of the more important things that you see people that they need for their e-commerce business so they can grow and have success, but that often end up getting stuck when it comes to content. And I th I think in, in terms of the content, it's, uh, uh, you know, on on the e-commerce side, it's two two parts, right? It's one is like visual and kind of the creative part, 
um, that you know people are just simply not testing a lot. And another one is the copy, the conversion, the utilizing different angles, understanding how to sell the product uh, from from a different perspective than your competition. Because you know if you just like using the same benefits, the same features as everyone else, right? Then maybe you know you'll be you'll be hitting the same buckets of people. People already seen that messaging. But software like Jar- uh, Jasper, <laughs> Jas- yeah, Jarvis, you know, there was a Jasper in um, Jarvis in um, Iron Man, if you remember. Yeah. That's why yeah, I'm that was, like. That was, that was the problem. Disney didn't it, take too kindly <laughs> to be <laughs> called Jarvis. Yeah. So, um, you know, utilizing, utilizing platform like this, you can, you can get like a lot of like new ideas, right? Like something that you might have. Maybe you didn't even think about it, right? Because like it's pulling ideas from all over. Like I don't know actually how it works, but it's like I assume it's pulling ideas from all, you know, little corners of internet. And so I think that's something that you know e-commerce entrepreneurs need to do more of. Like oftentimes you find a new angle for the product, and it works. You see people buying because of that. Like that new angle could be worth like six, seven figures in like sales to your business. So. Um, I think there is a tremendous upside in this, and um, yeah, and, and also like doing it in a cost-efficient manner. It's like okay, like we have to hire a copywriter. Okay, we have to search for copy. You know, good copywriter first like costs a lot of money, right? Which is which is okay, and, and that's something that you you have to do. Like you have to hire amazing copywriters once you your your business is, is in a position to do that. But what, before you get there, right? Um, you know, utilizing platforms like Jasper can, can help you to surpass this like learning curve, get some frameworks, get some ideas, get some foundation, which, you know, you can work with, you can make tweaks, you can optimize, but at least something to get work with and, you know, possibly scale to like, you know, that initial success. Yeah, I think especially from like starting up your own e-commerce business at the beginning, I just remember from my first, it was a single product on Amazon that I was I was sourcing myself, putting all of my money into. I was already all in. And then it came down to writing the listing. I was like, I have no idea how to sell this thing <laughs> at the end of the day. And it, I think it ended up my first copywriter I hired was like 600 bucks or something like that. And it was okay. It was better than I was going to do, but <laughs> it, it certainly wasn't, you know, something that I was going to like, you know, go and sing from the, the rooftops that this is like the most amazing copy in the world. And I mean, you're just going to find that as you're starting out, right? You're on a budget. You need to put your resources places so that you can invest back into stock, into inventory, into scaling your business. And that's really where, especially in e-commerce starting out and all these different product descriptions is this tool is going to help you, you know, just be a lot more smart and more effective with your money that you're spending as you're looking to grow. So um, maybe we could just go and show a little bit about how Jasper looks on the inside and give you guys a really a nice overview of how to use it and a few different templates inside of Jasper specifically. Then I'm also going to demonstrate to you guys a little bit more of an advanced approach to AI once you're in Jasper, once you understand how the tool works and you're comfortable um, using with some of these templates is using what we call recipes, which are pre-built workflows inside of Jasper that are going to help you write an entire listicle that, you know, educates your customers on a product and why it should even matter for them and kind of pre-sell them to purchase your product, right? And and then we'll go into a few different examples right there. But um, to start, I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen right now. And uh, what we're looking at right here is uh, the Jasper um, interface. So right here, I'm inside of dashboard right now, which will probably end up um, here if it's your first time logging in. But to, to really quickly highlight the key benefits here, and again, Jasper is built off of GTP3. Um, and GTP3 offer, uh, and, and there, there's a lot more that goes on to the Jasper just beyond plugging into GTP3. They've trained it on tons and tons of workflows and frameworks like you see here. But GTP3 um, or GPT-3, I'm sorry, I get those words mixed up sometimes, um, has downloaded back in 2019 about 10% of the entire internet, which is a lot of content, oh, wow. right? That's like the entire internet. And it's been it's been getting trained on more since then. And in 2023, you're going to be seeing the fourth edition of this tool, which is just dramatically going to be better. And so, like, we're, again, like, you think this is cool right now? wait till three months, six months, 12 months from now, this is the time to get on this stuff, guys. And and for what you're doing in like e-commerce, what you'll notice in here is there's a lot of different ways to use Jasper. And these are all really specific type of outputs like AIDA, I need to write an advertisement, a Facebook ad for 
Jasper to, to, to sell my products, okay? I could use AIDA, really common advertising, attention, interest, desire, action. If I want to write a blog post, I can go to one shot blog post and write an entire blog post about my product and who it's for and why it's important or on other stuff that's related to my product. You can see here, there's a few Amazon product description, product features. And in general, I'm just going to kind of scroll down so you can get an idea of like, there's a lot of ways that you can approach Jasper, which is why we're going to be focusing on e-commerce specifically right now in a few different ways that you can plug in, get the content you need to get results that are going to drive sales and conversions. Um, because if you, if you be just because you can do a lot with it, doesn't mean that a, you, a lot of times people else, they'll get uh, overwhelmed with all the different possibilities or something like this. So, um, you mentioned one thing a, a second ago, Alex, when you're, you're talking about just brainstorming different angles, right. For, for stuff and like how to sell products or like marketing ways. Well, this is a perfect example of where this marketing angles template might work really well for a product or a company or something like that. And maybe do, maybe we use an example that, that you had sent me earlier for for some of the product information let's do one of the one of those that i sent you cool well let, let me just pull up rose skin company okay so it looks like it's a, a ipl hair removal set you know never have to shave again obviously like this is a quality product and if if i'm marketing this product i'd want, want to have some unique you know angles with it because there's going to be other products on the market that are going to be my competition so first thing i'm going to do is inside of this i'm just going to say Rose Skin Co. And this is the context that I'm giving Jasper because Jasper, while it knows all the internet, this is really focusing it on like, I want this type of outcome from this product right here. And so if I'm taking Rose Skin Co, it's an IPL skin removal handset. Assume, let's just assume this is your product, right? You, whatever your product is, I'm just gonna copy some of the basic information into here. Just going back and forth, you know, clean massage. You know, there's looks like the Lumi 20 percent is the one that we're going to want to you know do. I want to see if there's any other information in here, right? This is just key info that you would want to anyone to know about your product. You can just copy it into Jasper so that Jasper know, knows where we're coming from. We get about 800 characters here in context to give it. And you can add your own tone of voice. And so if for here, I might want to say like informative, informational, and like Simon Sinek was one that I'd used before. Um, and it was, it kind of had like a, a smarter tone to it. And so let's say that's what we wanted to take here. I, I'd recommend finding like a celebrity, like if, if Oprah kind of encapsulates like your tone of voice, she might work better here. And like, maybe let's just take Oprah, for example, because it's a, a, a skincare um, or hair removal product, um, probably more feminine right there. So adding in the tone of voice, adding in the product description and adding in your company, again, you could find this from your existing product descriptions, a lot of stuff you're getting from maybe sourcing products or manufacturers that give you basic product information. Um, I just click generate AI content and I'm giving Jasper a few seconds to, um, to think about this to where it's then gonna output marketing angles for me to brainstorm on. I know Jasper is going through some, some dev stuff right now and they just said things might be um, running a little bit slow. So give me a second, bear with us here. This is a perfect example of using AI to help you brainstorm ideas to then go and take into action to create stuff around it. So um, in this case, brainstorming angles, say goodbye to unwatered hair right here, get permanent hair reduction just for uses, 12 uses. These are all things you could test for like headlines, ads, things like that, that like you were saying, Alex, like you have the, the conversion testing and AB split testing, and then you have mm -hmm. to like actually create the content. Well, this is a great way to just generate these ideas for um, these split tests that you're going to be doing. So, you know, if one outperforms the other, because, you know, you're just testing a bunch of these different ideas, then, you know, so you just to like, so just to make it. sure, right? So the stuff on the the stuff on the right, that was mm -hmm. like freshly created this is all fresh, new, original copy that Jasper just spit out. This is crazy, man. And so, and this is just for like maybe angles for you to approach on the marketing side of things, right? But imagine this, and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna open up another tab real quick. And I'm gonna show you how, again, like imagine this being your product. And imagine just if you if you have Jasper right now, you could walk through these different templates with your own products information. But imagine now I have this product and I, I don't really like this product description. Maybe I want like a more robust product description to go along with it. I'm gonna copy all the content right here. I'm gonna go back into Jasper and just a new tab, go into my templates and let's see what we wanna do here. 
I'm actually going to new product description. Say I want to have a, a really nice product description, All right? I'm going to use this template. I'm going to plug in the exact same information that I just gave Jasper on the marketing angles. I take the same tone of voice and then just click generate. Now Jasper is going to output. And again, it's probably going to take a second just for it to think uh, three different variations of a product description. And we'll take a second to, to read through these here, Alex, see what we've got. Wow. There may be some like minor tweaks you could do, right? Like kind of like replace some words, remove some words. But I mean, this is like 90, 95% like good copy. Yeah. And it's a great first draft, especially because like so much of the struggle with getting a copy out is just the blank page initially, right? Yeah. What Jasper's allowing the average person to do that's not a copywriter, not a professional copywriter, right? Like, I'm, let's say you can. And you know, I, I struggle with this so much. You know, right I'm here, like, yeah. uh, English is my second lang language, you know, like I, a few years ago, I didn't even speak English at all. Like, so for me, it's like, uh, you know, I always have this like, uh, does it sound, you know what I mean? It's like, there's this like barrier and I, I you know, I can imagine a lot of people that, that for whom like maybe English, I, I mean, even for, for English speakers, you know what I mean? It's like, not everyone is like, can just like, boom, 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 you know, good copy, like out of, you know, out of nowhere. So um, I think it's a phenomenal tool that, that gives you that initial like 90, 95% good copy that, that you can work with and you can improve upon. Yeah, especially for e-commerce type of stuff like this. It just takes so much of the, the extra stress around the words and creating this type of stuff on your own. I mean, you see that was literally a matter of seconds, and I could just click generate again, and I could have three more that I could test. Or oh, wow. I could simply, yeah, so you can go up to 10 per time here. And again, you just want to go through here. Sometimes you'll see stuff from one. You want to combine them you know, to each other. Um, but. I'd say that's a pretty solid first step from simply just like the basic of the information that you have. And Jasper's trained in a lot of different languages. If you want Jasper to output in, let's say, oh wow, let's say let's say where is it? Spanish, right? So, and I do, do, I, I do you speak Spanish? Uh, I, I took a few years in, in high school, so not, nothing, <laughs> nothing, uh, <laughs> nothing fantastic by any means. I'm a very um, very conversational. Oh, so input language, sorry. Input language was English. Output language should have been Spanish in there. So let me go ahead and run it again, and I'll, I'll let you be the judge of, of how good it is. I have no going. idea. I'm not speaking Spanish. Oh, what, what language? I, 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 I mean, I only speak like Ukrainian, like Russian. Oh, well, you can see there. Let me, let me see if we have... Okay, wait. So which... Let me see. Let's do Ukrainian. Let's do Ukrainian. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Yeah, so I mean, if I did speak siesta, this kind of so I obviously <laughs> want to like I, know I could I could do this stuff too. I'm just thinking we have a lot. There's a lot of a uh, um, you know a lot of from all across the world that are using it. I know Russian was a or Ukrainian is I think is a oh wow, it's not bad at all. This when is I, good. I, oh, I'm I'm thinking too for like e-commerce, you know, companies that are expanding into other markets too. Like this could be a really cool way to like you know get into oh yeah, additional... man, translations. Yeah, translate. I mean, usually it's like. You know, utilizing kind of like local and it's like imagine like higher, you want to expand to like three more countries, like you have to ex like hire like three more people mm -hmm. or you can have like one good, you know, person that that will just use a tool like this. It's a lot of it's a lot more efficiency that can mm -hmm. be produced. Yeah, and I don't do I don't do very much as you can imagine on like the translating side myself there. But I know we have like a lot of folks from living in Europe, different countries that will use Jasper along with a like Deep L to to help with kind of like the cross um, translation. I think it's probably best trained in English, but I, there's a lot of really good outputs as you can see, at least for getting that that first bit wow. out of here. Wow. Um, so, you know, I think in general, like everyone writing e-commerce product. You know, selling products needs product descriptions. You give very minimal like levels of input over here with what the product does. And Jasper is going to give you these outputs that you can then add into your, your e-commerce page. Um, and this, wherever is, that this, might is, be. this is crazy. You know, I think this, this will be so like disruptive to, to the whole kind of, uh, you know, to the e-commerce, like to other industries, like as innovation, as technology, like just 
eliminates the need for for complexity, eliminates the need for even like specific positions, you know, in the company where companies can be more lean, more efficient, more profitable, where a lot of the like human functions can be replaced with the software. Like I, I think this is massive. It's like I mean maybe not a, not to this to the same extent, but it's like the same as like people had you know when when the when the telephone was invented like or you know what i mean or like cell cellular connection was involved you know cell phones it's it's incredible what technology is doing these days yeah i i just see the trend in it right now is like this is very much here and it's very much here to stay and this is going to have the kind of um revolution on just society in general like something like we've never seen in our lifetimes most of like especially how i teach people use jasper it's like you you need to do your initial research on like knowing the basic facts about your product but like you don't really need much beyond that because jasper can give you stuff like this with very minimal input right Wow, man, this is absolutely crazy. This is absolutely crazy. What so you you you're observing like a lot of like users, right? Like and a lot of people that have access to to Jasper. What would you say are the three main ways that um people can use it more efficiently or just can get the more out of it or maybe specific like features or specific, you know, things inside of the platform that people maybe are not taking advantage of? Yeah, that's a good question. So, I think the number one secret and like just because I know because I I use Jasper so much on like getting it to the go to the next level is understanding how to w- operate inside of boss mode, which we haven't dove into yet, but it's more of like long form. You can make recipes and you can really customize all of your own processes to develop um really specific workflows that just streamline and scale whatever you're doing on the content side. Um so that's like the first thing is understanding recipes, but also like just brainstorming. And I I I talk to professional copywriters who like have been around for decades and like mm-hmm. you'd think they'd be the most skeptical, but the ones that that I see like that are, you know, especially on the train of like with Jasper is like this just helps give me new angles, new ideas, new perspectives that I never would have necessarily thought about just on my own just sitting here and looking at Jasper is more as that friend on the other side of the table like if you're at a coffee shop and just say hey like hey Jasper like what would be like 10 YouTube ideas around this topic that I'm I'm trying to like come up with an idea right here and Jasper's going to say here's 10 ideas you're like ah, I don't like any of those ideas give me them with a different different angle make them funny okay I'll do it well like you you go and have your friend be your idea like machine like that and they might get their feelings hurt they might get tired of like listening to you asking for ideas all day jasper's not going to get tired of that and so you know kind of like that conversational level with jasper is like mm. almost like talking with somebody and having those that dialogue jasper can just give you different insights different perspective like hey if i was the rock and i saw this product how might i respond for that jasper might be able to give you a way that somebody like the rock would like potentially respond to an idea which could be you know I'm just just to kind of brainstorm some ideas on that front mm-hmm. but I mean I, I think that's like really the the collaborative like side of working with Jasper is now you have this AI sidekick that can pretty much write and help you create content for all sorts of stuff um, but then it can also flesh out ideas and it can help summarize ideas and it can help expand on ideas and I think I know one of the ideas where I see people especially on the content side right and because education is key Mm-hmm. for getting our customers aware of us, aware of our products, aware of the problems that they have, and then how to position your product as a solution there. Um, like products, let me see where it is. Um, like, uh, pa- you sent me one of these landing pages. Um, seven, mm-hmm. seven ways pros is changing your hair care, hair yep. care game. One, formulas. Two, in-depth consultations. Right. And so like these kind of listicle style things like this could be a blog post, but you Mm -hmm. could also make this like a YouTube video script. You could also make this a Twitter thread. You can make it a reel, right? Like if, if, because this shorter, shorter form content is, is definitely um, growing in popularity as you might expect with just, um, just the way things are, are going online right now. And, you know, the attention span shrinking, here's like the listicle, here's the bits, um, of what we can do there, I can show you a recipe that I've made that will actually like help you create something like this if mm-hmm. if you were to want it. And like this is where I'm saying like once you know that Jasper can do these types of outputs for you, 
recipes are just going to open up the game as to the, the possibility as to what we can actually accomplish here when we're using Jasper for this stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to show a couple examples. I was, I was connected with Travis Stevenson and some of his team a few months ago to see if like, Hey, could we make a, a an affiliate listicle recipe, you know, and making money as an affiliate, you know, you don't even have to own the products. You just have to link back to them on Amazon or other places. Um, but let's say that you're using this recipe. And again, the recipe is just a pre-built workflow that's inside of Jasper, inside of boss mode. And that's what we're looking at right now is boss mode. And so this might look a little intimidating if it's your first time looking at it, but essentially it's like Google Docs powered by AI in some in some respects. Mm-hmm. The key here is that Jasper's still gonna be referencing, let's just say, I'm gonna go down here. Jasper is gonna reference Everything that it sees, let's just say in the paste winning title, let's say right here, if I were to want to type something right here, Jasper is going to build off of this plus everything it sees up here up to 3000 characters until it gets to these little dots. That's important because it means extra context and it's going to learn based on what it knows, but it's also going to reference all of these as long as they're toggled on, on the left-hand side, the content brief, the title, and the tone of voice. And so this is where, when you're coming in and saying you wanna write a listicle review for something, topic, item, item, item. I'll just use the example that I have in here. Let's say you're reviewing um, product, like books that you wanna sell on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Um, You would basically insert topic. We could take that still, that IPL hair removal here, and then you could review five of the top IPL hair removals right here, but all you need to do once you decide what topic and then what are the items that you're reviewing, I'm gonna add a tone of voice of visceral emotional language because that one actually works extremely well. I encourage everyone to test that one out. You just add the information over here on the side. And again, like this is the type of stuff that like I develop, you know, myself, like we help people use Jasper at a much higher level um, at my company, the AI author, but also Alex as we're going through some more specific e-commerce examples inside of your community um, we'll be developing some yep. some customized versions of these recipes based on the really key components inside of your e-commerce funnel so much more to come this is kind of just showing you guys what's possible with jasper and why you need to be getting used to this type of technology right now wow so, this is awesome so we have right here and again like this is all context for jasper so what i've done is i've wrote an introduction that's essentially telling Jas- these are all like basically instructions that i've toned jasper the introduction answers the following questions who should read this why should they read it what questions will they answer why are they quali- why are you qualified each item should have a numbered heading image video links and then the conclusion concludes what we explained above and and this is all this is all context for jasper now what I'm, to highlight this little carrot right here, this indicates that I'm, it's time to give Jasper a command, which means that, hey, I'm gonna say, Jasper, take what I just gave you and go and do it. Like, I, I need this type of content right now. And so if all you have to do, and see, like, there's a couple different parts to this recipe, which these can get pretty elaborate as we, as we go down them. And so, like, this is a, a pretty, like, medium level um, recipe here. I want, write an introduction to this article based on topic, then begin listing out each item in in order, then a description, pros, cons, and the price for each product. Jasper recognizes, and it it operates based off a pattern as well, and it's gonna recognize when you're going down a pattern. So it's gonna map this to this. Topic is personal finance books for entrepreneurs. Then listing out each item, right? We have five items here. Mm -hmm. I can just, in this case, I just click compose, but now we're off and running and, and right wow, now that's my, crazy. my, but like as, as you're going through this, it's important to remember that Jasper is still a, an AI. It's still a tool and there needs to be human, um, really it's direction like through this, mm-hmm. you're really more of a chief editor at this point. And it's like, if Jasper's going off the wrong path here, you need to step in and say, Hey, like that's not the right way, but are you an entrepreneur looking for the best personal finance books to help you succeed in business? Look no further. We've compiled a list of our top five recommendations. Increase your financial literacy. From Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad to Ramit Sethi's I Will Teach You to Be Rich, this list has something for everyone. And so now Jasper's got me an introduction, and now it's going to start going down the line items right here. 
right? And of course, you want to fact check all of this stuff. Jasper is great at putting the words together in ways that sound really good, but like have, you know, you still want to fact check and make sure that like, hey, was it really published in this? You know, a lot of these are going to be true, right? But you still want to make sure you're publishing stuff that, that is factually correct. Sometimes Jasper will insert things that aren't necessarily true, but they might sound good, um, you know, just in the context of how it structures things. But as you can see here, pros, cons, price, item number two, the millionaire next door. And all I'm doing right now is, is literally pressing this compose button, which um, on a PC, I think is command J um, or control J on a Mac or one of those things. And it's gonna keep going down this line <laughs> to where I can essentially have an entire listicle review post of top five products. Maybe you're in like the coffee niche and you want to do mud water and like alternates to maybe coffee and so your mud mm -hmm. water, matcha drinks, um, things like that. Um, but if Jasper operates the way that it should inside of the, the context of this recipe, we should wrap things up in right after I will teach you to be rich. Um, you know, thinking grow rich, it's been criticized as a get rich quick mentality. You know, maybe the pricing is you just want to verify this stuff on Amazon, like if that's where you're going to be sending people. Mm -hmm. um, but I could see you, you writing one of these for just like your own products. Hey, our top five products for, you know, you, you and like pros and cons of like X, Y, or Z for this holiday season or however you yeah. want to approach it. Yeah. So if we go back down here, number four, number five. And I mean, I think we started running this recipe like what, less than five minutes ago, right? Like this can happen very, very fast when you've identified the process that you want to do. And that's what I encourage everybody that's coming in the Jasper's like, how do you get the most out of it at the beginning? Well, one, like just identify what is like the number one thing that you're doing or like, where does, what does your content process look like first and foremost? What type of content do you need to produce more of on a regular basis? And what are the step-by-steps -steps that get you from like nothing to like, okay, this is a finished product. Then we can kind of reverse engineer that back, like from the back end and create a recipe or a workflow around that so that you could just crank these out. You could train your VAs to crank them out and you could develop and really scale up your content now that you've got this process dialed in. So now that I've got the top five, this is where you'd go on to the second part of the conclusion where this is just going to be more context. Hey, have you, what have you explained above? What do you, what were your readers write next? Ask a question so they'll have something to think about. And I'm just going to go and write a conclusion that summarizes the article above. Pretty simply. In conclusion, personal finance books can be invaluable resources for entrepreneurs to achieve financial success. From Rich Dad Poor Dad, I will teach you to be rich. There's a wealth of knowledge available on personal finances, finance topics such as budgeting, investing, and debt management. With the right book in hand, entrepreneurs can learn how to manage their money and grow their wealth with confidence. So why not pick up a book today? All right? Are you ready to take control? What what next steps will you take? Share them in the comments. Like pretty much to a T it answered all the questions that we wanted to mm -hmm. got us down here to the very bottom of this recipe. And the last thing, Oh, and it's, it's even giving us an idea for like what we're going to talk about in the next article. Oh, wow. Um, like, That's perfect. Crazy. So like, what are the next steps? And so now this is just now that it's written out. Now I can take this command, write a list of blank headlines in this listicle article review, because you're going to want to write a headline for this that you can want to test, right? So I'm going to just mm -hmm. say, like, I want a list of five headlines for this listicle, give it a uh, command shift enter to just give it a direct command versus a compose. And now mm -hmm. I've got five must read personal finance books, the best five personal finance books for entrepreneurs, five essential personal finance. Right? Like, okay, maybe I'll take this one, five classic, most important, and I'll take these, this one is like, okay, this is what I'm going to call the article. And at this point, now I'm going to come back through, do a second pass, um, and edit it right to get it ready and like add in additional stuff, um, mm -hmm. for my content. But a cool thing with Jasper, now that you've got the content out there and I'm going back through on a second round and saying, okay, cool. Um, description, this book is easy to understand and packed with valuable information. Like if I didn't like the way that this sounded or I was like, eh, hey, I don't, I don't know, maybe I could say that a little bit better. I can go up here and I can actually rephrase in the upper right hand corner. Um, I can have Jasper simply just rephrase this exact sentence and paragraph to say like, oh, this book is straightforward and provides tangible steps for mastering. So I'm like, I actually like the way that that actually reads a little bit more. 
I'm going to go ahead and click <laughs> replace text. And I can kind of edit with Jasper that way to edit some content. Or I, another really good like version instead of just rephrasing is a like a, explain it to a fifth grader. Because often, especially as experts on products and other things, we can say things that we know all the information to, but sometimes we just need to be able to say it in such a way a fifth grader can understand it, right? To get the point across. Well, Jasper can help you do that as well. Take complicated ideas, trim them down into things that are a little bit more easy to understand. And, you know, at this point with this recipe, I would go back through, I'd clean it up and then I would just format it and get it ready to, to post, add all the links and things like that. But um, one example of how you use Jasper for like listicle style products, product reviews on that nature, and again, there's so many different ways that we can expand on this, which is, I know, like, Alex, we're going we're to be putting together some stuff for your community. Yep. Um, yep. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, just in general, like a lot of, a lot of really cool ways that you guys can <laughs> use this tool, um, certainly, and uh, have a few more examples if you want to dive into anything more mm -hmm. specifically. But yeah, it's awesome. So um, specifically for like e-commerce like um do you have a lot of clients like uh, from e-commerce space using your your platform yeah lots and especially for like the product descriptions writing product bullet points writing headlines mm -hmm. um, writing facebook ads right like i mean just getting good ad copy out there that's going to drive products to your store is huge um so yeah like just the facebook ads um like example let me pull pull that that template up right mm-hmm so like the AIDA, we kind of touched on at the beginning um, right here, classic framework for, you know, selling products, say like, hey, I'm going to write, I'm going to use this um, hair removal device, which I guess is competitor wise to, yeah, we'll just use the same one to keep it there. It wasn't letting me copy it. You know, you'd simply just copy that information, copy, you know, what you want it to say there. Mm -hmm. um, we'll go with the... Uh, Let's go with the Oprah. Oprah. <laughs> Tone of voice again here for this product. Um, and now Jasper is going to go and output, in this case, three different versions of attention, interest, desire, and action. Right? Mm -hmm. So, like, ready to wave, get, right, wave goodbye to your hairy woes. Like, Lumi is the new at home IPL hair removal device that stops hair growth right in its tracks. It's cheaper than laser, more convenient than shaving, and way less painful than waxing. What? Like, you'll see noticeable results in just four uses. You get four wow. results in 12. Ready to feel <laughs> your dolphin smooth skin? Does it say dolphin, dolphin smooth? Dolphin. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Right. So, like, these are it's all. It's good. Like, I mean, you, yeah. you never know. You know, sometimes, like, these kind of things that they're like. Oh, out, yeah, it does say Dolphin you know, Smooth right here. Yeah. Outside so. of outside of the, the accepted kind of like norms or like you're saying something that's weird, but then, like, boom, I mean, maybe maybe that would resonate and maybe that would convert. Yeah. And like, that's the thing. Like, at the end of the day, we don't know until the data is going to let us know. Right? Yeah. And so, you got to test this stuff. And the fact that you can just that much easier get Jasper to give you the variations, like the controls that you can, you know, test against, um, the more, the faster you're going to know that, Hey, this, this copy worked this in it. You could turn out 10 of these very, very fast, start running ads, see which one converts, and then use maybe the angle from that one and then start writing out more of your like e-commerce funnel based on oh, the yeah. data. Right. Oh yeah. Darby will be putting like some, some, uh, special training for, uh, for our community. Um, called Brand Builders Academy. So help them um, help our community to utilize the tool uh, with more efficiency. Like give feedback, you know, on some of the some of the stuff that um, you know our, our clients are doing there. So if you guys need more details on that, um, I'll, I'll drop a link so you can you can inquire how to join our community. Also, um, uh, Darby, maybe you will share like a special like offer like for for people that want to try. Uh, you know, if someone is watching until this point, they're probably excited. They probably want to try. They probably want to see if it's, uh, you know, something that will help them to run their business more efficiently, produce more revenue, produce more sales, you know, for their products, you know, save time. Literally, there's so many benefits of this that, that you know, could be gained. So if you can give more details about what um, uh, what you prepared for uh, for those that, that they're watching. Yeah, totally. And and. You know, Alex, because, you know, we're going to be working with your community and, and taking Jasper and training on more e-commerce specific things. Um, you know, 
first and foremost, I want to say, guys, I think probably below this video in some somewhere, um, you're going to have a link to sign up for Jasper to subscribe um, through a link there um, you know, through Alex, who's kind enough to bring me on to, to share a little bit more about this um, the software with you. But through that link, you're going to be able to get a 10,000 free credit trial, which will essentially mean you get 10,000 words to play around with what we just did, your own product information, and and just you know, give it a go, see how it works for you, and then start to give the, the, the tool a bit more work. From there, I do have a free book that's available right now called The AI Author Cookbook. Um, literally no opt-in required, guys. It's theaiauthor.com slash cookbook. It's a PDF that actually walks you through. And, and the reason I, I, I don't even like have this as an opt-in for anything is because like, I, have a, I have a whole community and a more advanced like membership where we train people like right there. But like until you even get your, your toes dipped into Jasper in the first place, then like uh, that, that offer doesn't even like make sense right out the gate. Like this cookbook is going to be, it is designed to help get you up to speed for um, how Jasper works. There's a Jasper 101. There are tons of resources. We have an entire framework called the seven day book challenge where people literally write lead gen books, 15, 20,000 words inside of a week. Then they'll edit it, publish it and do all the fancy stuff um, there. But like, there's so many ways you can use this tool, but inside of that cookbook, again, the aiauthor.com slash cookbook, you'll have dozens of recipes like the ones I just shared with you. So you can see how do I use it for generating ideas? How can I use a recipe for all these other ways? So sign up um, through Alex's link to get your 10,000 free word credit first and foremost, then go over and grab that cookbook, um, make a make a copy of the download right there. Um, that link will always have the most updated version of it so that you can start to kind of play around with Jasper. Um, and then of course I would say join Alex's community so that you can get, um, so, just so you're in the, in the loop for more of these trainings, um, and these you know, workshops and stuff that we're going to be doing for Jasper for e-commerce. I see this from even like, as you said, like even established copywriters that have been in space, it's, it's literally their business, you know, to, to write copy. They're like amazed with, with the progression that, you know, these tools have made in, in recent years and. They're looking to incorporate that into their own work. And I think that's kind of like that tells you everything that you need to know. Like you, mm -hmm. if, if, if these guys that, that literally that's their business, they're getting on it, then you as a small business owner, probably you have to take advantage of this as well. And just this tool gives you, you know, tremendous like advantage in terms of like handling, um, you know, getting your copy to like 90% like efficiency, tweaking, you know, a few words here and there, but getting it out there. Um, getting some feedback, looking at the data, making adjustments, and just you know compressing that that cycle from you know just a product idea that you have, right? Product idea that you want to test, and product actually being tested, literally you know within few days, or even if you really want to push it, like within one day, you can actually test what you want to do. And that can be your next like six, seven figure idea, something that will you know change your life. So. I think that the tool that you bring to the market is, is tremendous. Thank you so much for educating the community because it's, it's not only like having access to the tool or knowing the tool, but also knowing how to use the tool. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what you bring to the table. So thank you so much for that. Absolutely, Alex. And, uh, and there is actually an art element to Jasper that we didn't even get, get to touch on today. And so like, again, like this platform is going to be the leading platform. It is already in AI um, content creation. And so words, art, everything that's going to ultimately lead to just like helping your brand and your product stand out from the crowd, make more conversions, connect with more customers and, you know, make a big difference in the world. Um, you know, it all starts right here. And this is the best time to get into using this kind of stuff for your business. So I'm excited for you guys. Thank you for having me here, Alex, to share. I'm looking forward to what the future holds. Yeah. Thank you, Darby. Thank you, everyone, for watching. See you in the next video.